Hello and welcome back. This is Rafi once again. In this video, I'm very excited to show you how you can host multiple websites under one single hosting package on Hostinger step by step. So if I want to show you my Hostinger account example, you can see under this hosting package, I have already hosted 16 websites. And throughout this video, I'm going to create another website under this web hosting so you can learn the process. So if you don't know about the opportunity, let me share the information. On Hostinger, you will be able to host up to 100 websites on two of the packages you can see and with cloud startup package you can host up to 300 websites so if you are about to create multiple websites why don't you use this opportunity so I'm gonna cross this out and after that let's proceed so to build the website I have got the domain name purchased on Namecheap you can see it here and this is the domain that I'm going to connect with my hosting or hosting package and then I'm going to install WordPress under the domain so that we can start building the website and you can learn the process all right to start the process I'm going to click on websites and after that you're gonna find this option add website so this is the option where we are gonna go with but before I proceed I'm gonna share some information it's the giant hostinger sale so basically you can get these offers as of now but please check out the video description i have got a special discount link and a promo code if you use that you are gonna get 10 percent extra discounts along with this giant sale offer anyways let's proceed so after coming to the websites we're gonna click on add website button right here after that if you are creating your website while they are testing some of the features on hostinger itself then you might gonna see this option so i'm gonna click on agree otherwise you should not see this option right so as i'm saying i've just checked and i'm gonna click on next after that they're gonna ask if you want to create a new website or copy an existing website so i want to create a new website so i'm gonna select this one after that let's click on next and after that they're gonna ask us to provide the wordpress account login credentials so this is going to be your wordpress admin email obviously you can change the email you have to put your email address here obviously so i'm going to keep the one that i have got here this is the admin email and choose a password for the admin account so i'm going to choose one okay and make sure you remember them because you have to use these details to sign into your wordpress backend all right now i'm going to click on next and after that we are going to find this option where we have to connect our domain name with this hosting or hosting package so i'm going to take you back to our namecheap account what i can do i can simply take you to manage so that we need to go eventually to the manage option because we need to change the dns servers so i'm going to copy this from here let's go back and after that i'm going to paste it right here and now hostinger is going to check if the domain is available to use so as you can see we have got this domain purchased here so obviously do you own this domain use it so i own it i'm going to use it but if you want to purchase a domain you can basically start from here you can purchase the domain name from here so i'm going to select the one that i already own and after that you can see this message you can use this domain for your website but you will need to connect it manually so obviously we are going to learn the process in this video in a few seconds so i'm going to click on next now and after that it is going to start building the website for us so while it is building the website what i'm going to do we need one thing to do here we have to add our dns records so oh so they have already taken us to this page they should have provided us the dns records i don't see them it's fine what i'm going to do i'm going to take dns name servers from google so let's make a search hostinger dns servers and then if i yeah here we go here are the name servers so i'm gonna copy the first one let's go back and after that we have to scroll a bit down and then we're going to find this name servers option right here we're gonna click here by default it's selected to name chip basic dns so you're gonna change the dns so i'm gonna click on custom dns after that i'm gonna paste the first name server that i have copied from here on this page i'm going to attach this link into the video description for your easy access so i'm going to copy the second name server let's go back to the domain control panel and then paste it right here after that let's click on save and here we go the dns server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect so we are done with connecting the domain 
though it might gonna take a few minutes to a few hours to get everything properly propagated so don't worry about that just give it some time if it is not instantly working so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take you back here and after that i'm gonna reload this page and after that i'm gonna try visiting this website oh okay so it's already installed and you can see that we can visit the website right here so now if we want we can sign in back uh, sign into the back end of our website and we can start working on the site so if i click on wordpress admin from here if all the things been set up properly it should take us to our wordpress back end and now let me just simply log out and let's try signing in the other way so i'm gonna visit this website first and i'm gonna put wp admin and then i'm gonna provide my password and then if i click on login we should be able to log into our wordpress backend so this is the process how you can add multiple websites on your hostinger hosting package so if you want to purchase a hosting package check out the link into the video description it's a special link with a promo code so you can save a good money so thank you so much for watching if you have got any question or any trouble you are facing feel free to let me know by commenting below it would be my pleasure to help you out with another video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.